Hey, this is Ryan with Reason Studios, and today I want to show you five game-changing ways that the Reason Rack plugin and its MIDI app device can have a huge impact on your music making. But before we get into that, if you want to learn more about Reason, make sure to hit up the link here or in the description. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more music making tutorials and tips like this. All right, let's check this out. We all know that you can send MIDI from your keyboard into plugin instruments like Reason. But did you know that you can send MIDI from Reason out to your DAW? And that you are going to want to try. Okay, our first example starts with this Chromaphone VST. It's a nice sound, but one we can definitely still upgrade. Let's load the Reason Rack plugin on another MIDI track, and instead of dragging in any instruments or effects, I'm going to bring in a player device. When I do, it automatically creates a MIDI out device. With that done, I can go back to my Chromaphone track and set it up to receive its MIDI from Reason instead of from my keyboard. In live, that's these two settings. And here's the trick. Instead of playing Chromaphone on its own track, I'll set its monitor to in and select my Reason track. You see Chromaphone's meters going? Sounds cooler too, right? The single notes I'm playing on my keyboard are going through Reason's Scales and Chords player to send Chromaphone big full chords. Now we could keep improving by stacking players in Reason too, like Dual Arpeggiator. Now, once you've got the concept down, Reason doesn't need to be only a MIDI effect. It can be the starting sound and the master controller for several plugins. Here, we've got a quad note generator playing grain with some effects to color it. But what if this was just the start of a multi-plugin layered sound? I'll select everything in the rack, right click, and choose Combine. This puts our instrument and effects into a combinator. To that combinator, I'll add a MIDI out device. And lastly, I'll drag my player to sit atop the combinator so it plays everything inside. Let's load an FM8 on another track and have it receive MIDI from Reason just like before. We'll pan Reason to the left and FM8 to the right. And let's do it again with Massive. And we could just keep going with maybe Synplant or really however far you want to take it. This same idea doesn't need to be only for generative synthesis. Here's another example where I've got Radical Piano and the MIDI out device in Reason controlling Native Instruments' Alicia's Keys for a nice, wide piano stereo effect. MIDI out is about more than just notes. We can use Reason and its MIDI out device to send controller data to modulate other software synths. Now, some hosts don't support MIDI controller data between plugins, but Logic does. So here we've got a sequence playing back from Serum. Its filter is already moving with each chord via Serum's envelope settings. But let's add another dimension to that movement with Reason. Instead of using two tracks like we did in Live, in Logic we can add Reason to the MIDI effects right on our Serum track. Drag in a Pulsar LFO and a MIDI out device. Then we'll flip the rack to connect Pulsar's CV signal to our MIDI out CV1 jack. After dialing in our Pulsar settings to our liking, we go back to Serum and assign the incoming MIDI to our filter cutoff knob. And like that, Serum's filter is still pulsing with each note envelope, but it's also gliding up and down thanks to Pulsar. We don't just have to send MIDI from one plugin to another either. We can record MIDI from Reason to our sequencer. Check out this Rhodes piano. It's coming from Radical Keys with a Scales and Chords player. Let's customize these chords in our sequencer. The first part we'll do fast because we've done it before. I'm going to add a MIDI out device to my rack, combine my devices, and move my player above the combinator. And also, just like before, I'm going to create a new MIDI track and set its input to Reason. But unlike before, we won't load another plugin here. Instead, when I press record on this track, Reason's full chordal output starts recording in my sequencer. 
When done, I can delete my original clip on Reason Sequencer track and move this into its place, making sure to also disable the Scales and Chords player in Reason that we don't need anymore. Now I can dive into the sequencer clip and go about experimenting with chord inversions and adding extra tones for more color. And last, but definitely not least, we can get MIDI from Rex loops and pattern devices out of Reason and into our sequencer. And that method couldn't be easier. Here's a simple Dr. Octorex loop loaded in Reason. As great as drum and bass loops like this are in this form, they're even more fun when you get down to juggling them. And all that takes is disabling the automatic loop playback and simply dragging its MIDI handle into the sequencer. Now each slice is here in the sequencer and I can go about playing around with rearranging them into juggled breaks like this. Hopefully you've gotten some ideas here for your own music. MIDI Out in Reason puts the Reason Rack plugin at the center of your music making, enhancing other plugins, layering epic sounds, and diving deeper into customization. And now all you have to do is try it out.